Hello there. Let's see here, and we are back to the Forest Temple. Wind key in hand. Anyway, in the last part, we up. Uh, what? Wall master room. Wall master room. Wall master room. Wall master room. Run, Link. Get your scrawny ass out of here. Oh my God. Green bubble. Oh, I love this next room. And if you didn't understand that, that was sarcasm. I hate the next room. Come on, Mr. Bubble. Thank you for dying. You suck. Ha ha ha. Anyway, off screen, I got me some arrows. Yep, this room. See, we have spikes of death. Okay, that's the water. Harmony. Anyway, the thing about this is. We have to melt the ice on that ice switch over there. Think. Okay. We did kick game. So we want to jump on this platform. Aim our arrows at that fire. The platform's blue, so you're gonna have to move around and hit that ice switch. Trust me, because when your arrow goes through the fire. The arrow takes the fire, and then bada bang, it's the ice, and then we have logic for once in a Nintendo game. Fire melts ice. Yep, surprisingly. Hi, yeah. oh, got you on the second try! I know we have bad aim on that one. So now we twist and turn this portal. Oh, come on, game! Now we have to get back up from the water because I suck at this game. Oh, man. Anyway, we're approaching the third pole. And I'm just going to reveal the name now. The third pole is Amy Poe. I apparently she is the youngest of the Poe sisters. Green Bubbles, why did you respawn? Come on, buddy. Bah! Bitch! Ah, that's twisty. Okay. Bada bing! You suck, Mr. Bubble. Ah, oh, this rum! Oh, crap! I don't understand. Wait a minute. Hmm. There has to be a way that you can. I don't know. Anyway, we almost have 20 skull tools. I think we're close to clearing out the forest temple. Okay, I missed a number two. And then we have the last floor where the box is located. I'm just gonna take a look at this. Oh, I think I get it. I think I know what you have to do. You have to drop down the wood. No, you don't have to drop down the hole. I think. At least I think you don't have to drop down the hole. <laughs> yep, you have to drop down the hole. Oh, this room! I love this room too. See, we have that. We have these platforms falling from the sky. You have to watch which platforms are open. Loads of skull tours are also open pathways. So if you go on those, you'll be safe. Now let's pick up on the switch. And then Houston, we have door. Alright, let's get going over to the chest. The chest has two open spaces, so you'll survive. I uh, got- Ooh, arrows! Bundle of arrows. Chests will also contain arrows. One amount of arrows is, I think, five. Two is ten. And the- Oh, great! This one! Yep, we have Amy Poe at last! This, she has a puzzle before you can fight it. You basically have to move those pieces up there into a form that looks exactly like her. So... That. And you only get a minute. Don't worry, if you fail, the pieces will just reset. You do not die or anything bad like that. 
All right, move that piece over there. Don't climb on it, Link. Move it out of the way. This piece does nothing. It's only there to get in your way. All right. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. One more piece. We're sailing for one piece. Yep, we can do we're doing this, right? On the first try. I know for sure we're doing this in the We're gonna do it on the first try. Yeah. First try. I always get to Oh okay, no. Holy crap! So close! Yeah, if you if she if one of the post sisters gets close to you, she will swing the lantern at you. Normally, I like to keep my distance away from Amy, because once you solve that puzzle, she will attack you. Wait for her to reappear. Bang! In the mouth! Boom! Oh, you're not dead yet. You only have one more hit left in this pile. Come here. Boom! You're dead! Suck it. And we have fire. Alright! I'm going to warn you right now. When you go through that door, you will have a mini-boss. Yes, we have three mini-bosses in this dungeon. There's one other dungeon with three mini-bosses. I won't want to be aware of those yet. Alright, let's go through here. Alright, maybe not this one, but the room afterwards. Let's go through this door. I'm gonna turn off the volume so you can hear what's down there. That is the last of the four post sisters, Meg Po. You see her like down there all crying and shit. She's only crying because of the death of her three sisters. I'm going to win you right now. Once you go down there, you will be forced into a mini boss fight. But the mini boss is ridiculously easy and you will not have any worries unless you suck at targeting stuff and stuff. Basically, I do not recommend you targeting for this fight. Trust me. Anyway, let's do it. Yep, she has a last flame. Don't hear you, Paul! This is Meg Poe, the last of four Poe sisters. Basically, for this fight, you have to guess which one of these four men is the real one. Basically, the real one will spin. So you can easily target the real one and shoot her. Remember, five hits kill the Poe. Okay, maybe I do recommend you targeting for this fight. <laughs> Come on, Meg. Alright, one more hit, I think. Goodbye, Poe Sisters! That is the last one of those little bitches. And now, we can use the elevator. There we go. We do not want to- Oh, you son of a bitch! Alright, we have one golden skull tool left in this dungeon, and it is down there. I'm gonna end up this part early because all that's left after this is the boss. Well, after a short little mini puzzle, so if you like this part, subscribe to my videos to be not to yellow button in the corner. Give me some five star reviews. And check out my other videos if you like this one. Next time, we will face off with the boss of the Forest Temple. And I will not reveal who it is yet. Yet. You'll have to see the video type in the next video. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time. Video type will be different for this video, so... Just throwing that out there, you know.
because this really can't be a counterforce in an episode due to its shortness. Anyway, see you guys next time.